The campaigns for presidential elections in Uganda haven't been peaceful. Police and soldiers have blocked political opposition candidates on the roads. It's all been live streamed by online TVs like this channel on YouTube. The government's now written to YouTube's owner, Google, asking it to block 14 of the channels, accusing them of inciting violence. No accusations have been put before a court of law against the managers of these platforms. So government is simply writing to Google as a means of intimidating these uh, managers of these YouTube channels and platforms as an attempt, a continued attempt, to stifle the political position. All of the 14 channels are linked to pop star turned presidential candidate Bobby Wine. His supporters are young, they're at home online. And the platforms provide an opening for opposition in a country where the government controls access to much of the traditional media. Dozens of people were killed when police violently broke up demonstrators last month. It followed the arrest of Bobby Wine. Police said his rallies broke COVID rules. Opposition and rights groups say the government doesn't want Ugandans or the world to see what's happening. Police since announced that all journalists had to be vetted to be able to cover the elections. This will give a very clear distinction between genuine journalists and those that are in genuine and also help eliminate the propagation of rumours, disinformation, antagonistic discussions which are likely to incite violence. Violence is something that journalists say they've suffered at the hands of the police. This cameraman was shot in the face with a rubber bullet. This reporter is among a group who say they were beaten by police last week. Police say they're investigating. Press groups say the government's now trying to prevent foreign journalists from coming to cover the polls. Lots of journalists are wanting to come into Uganda to cover this election. Um, and what we've seen is, is that many of those journalists who have applied for accreditation have been left waiting for days, for weeks, for that accreditation to be processed. In some cases, journalists who have entered the country have even been deported. The government blocked social media services during the last election. Google has said governments have to submit court orders for YouTube channels to be removed. So for now, the online TVs keep streaming. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera.